Oh my good word. I am so ridiculously excited right now. A complete surprise. We were doing a little swap over of subs right here for into my sister's car. We got the CT Sounds Mezzos. It was going to be a surprise, but lo and behold, I got surprised. Look at that. That is ridiculous. I had no idea that was coming right there. But we're going to get these subs going right here. We're going to be doing a swap over of the sealed box. Be building a new box for my girls uh, ride and putting the new sound system in my uh, sister's Nissan right there. Holy flex. Danny's got some flex going on. Oh man, this is absolutely nuts. I can't even believe that right now. Alright guys, we got the boxes all inside. So let's get this video underway. First off. Introducing the new subwoofers for my girlfriend's car, the 12 inch CT Sounds Mezzos. Now some people did get a little confused when they saw me take out the NVXs and put them in my sister's ride. Do you want to ride down with your seats down sometimes? No. What? Well that's because my sisters always want a sound system, so I figured there'd be no better way than to hook her up with two 12s. So now we got the NVX Nissan and the CT Sounds Chevy. So let's get underway and check out these 12 inch Mezzos. Really looking forward to it. I've always been a real big supporter of Coleman over there. Ever since he had his audio technics with the sound deadener all the way down to the wire that I used for my 8 gauge and my door panels. Really big thanks to Coleman over there. He's always been a big supporter of my channel. Really impressed with all of his products. So, hey, look at that. A box inside of a box. That could be a YouTube video in itself right there. Box in a box. So let's go ahead and get this open. Damn good packaging so far. I'm really impressed with it. Oh my goodness gracious. A box inside of a box inside of another box. Thank you, Coleman. There's going to be freaking no motor shift on this. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, yes. Look at this. Is that another box? No, nope, I think that's I think that's it. This is going to be the first look. Are you guys ready? First look. Bam. Oh, my goodness. You can already see it's got dual stitch surround right there. Nice exaggerated dust cap. Dome dust cap. Oh, man. Check it out. Woohoo! I got a little blanket over here so I can set it down. Keep the freshness of my woofer here with some silica. It looks like a high roll surround, doesn't it? Wow, pressed paper cone. Beautiful. Nice little double stack magnet, it seems. Let me just pull up its skirt a little bit so I can be sure. Yeah, it looks like a nice double stack magnet. Good ventilation around the basket right there into the pole vent on the bottom. Oh, look at that, engraved on the bottom. Can you see it? It's engraved right there, CT Sounds Mezzo. Really looking forward to this. And I don't know if you guys do know this, but CT Sounds has like an EXO subwoofer. So another cool reason when I contacted him, I was like, hey man, maybe you got some EXOs in the future. So who knows what the future holds. This company is definitely doing it big. We got push terminals right here that can accept the eight gauge wire. Looks like there's sewn in tinsel leads right down there on the spiders. Very nice. Looks like it's glued up pretty damn well too. They were definitely paying attention to detail when they made this subwoofer. Really liking it. It looks like a 12 spoke basket. Also very heavy, a meaty little guy right there too. I can't wait to get this thing pumping. It has a frequency response, a free air frequency response around 40 hertz. So we're gonna be putting this in a bandpass box tuned to around that number. And uh, we're gonna be trying to get loud out of the trunk of that Impala. I'm so looking forward to messing with this thing. Coleman's always been a great friend of mine. I'll always support his products. Always a great guy. We hung out at Spring Break Nationals once and had some real good times down there too. So that's besides the point. Let me go ahead and get the amplifier here, which was a complete surprise to me, which just goes to show how cool of a company that is. Um, you know, we contacted each other and we were going to do a little subwoofer thing, but lo and behold, he sends over an amplifier too. That's just above and beyond the call of duty right there, hooking a brother up with some bass and my girlfriend's going to be getting louder than ever. Just a little side note. My sister's happier than she's ever been with her sound system. She loves it. She's always texting me, telling me how much she loves the bass. So uh, let's see if we can get my girlfriend loving the bass that much with these new CT Sounds AT1400.1s. They're a monoblock. Whoops, I kind of ripped the block. That's all right. That's all right. It's a monoblock amplifier. Oh my goodness, and it is beautiful. It is beautiful. It has like a little curve in the front right there too. That's going to be perfect for our install because we're going to be trying to make it seamless and all flush. So that's going to be beautiful. It almost seems like the top of it illuminates with the logo. I'm not sure what color because I haven't seen it up and running. Beautiful power terminals, zero gauge input. Really? Oh my goodness gracious. I did not know they had Plexi on the back. That is something right there. That's stock. I didn't ask for this custom. That comes like that. Some beefy parts in there, you guys. Looks like some quality components. Audio Technics wire in there too. I've always been a big fan of that ever since I uh, told you guys about that a couple years ago 
with my install. She does seem like a nice beefy amp, but what I do love about it is that you can strap them. Right there, it's got a master slave input. So say if you have just one voice coil, but you want to put two of these amplifiers on them, well, guess what? You're all set because the topology calls for it. You can go ahead and wire it like that and strap your amps. I also hear some great things about his bass knob. I don't want to ruin it for you just yet because I just want to show you. But look, it's got a voltmeter on it and a clipping indicator, something that I haven't seen too many other companies um, employ with their bass knobs. So I'm... I'm also really looking forward to have that. But damn straight, guys, I'm so happy with this. I couldn't, I, I really wasn't expecting it. So big thanks to Coleman over there, Coleman Thettinger. Uh, you can find him on Facebook. If you want to check out his websites, everything will be in the description. I still can't even get over this. My girlfriend's going to be louder than ever. And these videos are going to be pretty, pretty damn sweet. I'll be doing an install all over again, uh, just like I did with the NVX in my sister's car. If you haven't seen that video, I'll also click that... Uh, in the description as well. So let's get these bad boys flexing away in the days to come. Uh, we've got the fourth order band pass designed um, already underway. So it sh everything should be coming together fairly soon here. All right, guys, this is EXO just showing you off, showing off the new gear here from CT Sounds. Again, huge thanks to my man over there, Coleman, always hooking it up and keeping a brother strong with some bass. All right, I'll keep you guys on the flip side. This is EXO signing out. Woohoo!